Right, joined by, joined by manager Steve King after the 2 1 away win at St Albans. Steve, firstly, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it was it was like a man's performance, I would say. Um, gritty determination not to you know, concede in the second half. A um, lot of talking points in the game, I felt. Um, first talking point for me, soft penalty. I don't think it was a penalty from where we was. He's flicked it. Uh, Tom Bonner's got his hands by his side. There's no way he's put hand to the ball, maybe ball to hand. Uh, very disappointed with that decision. Um, I'm going to have to have a look at it again tonight, and I may, I may owe her an apology. I may not. Um, Nash's goal was a goal. People were in line with it. Um, Again, I'll have a look at that on the video, but people said he was onside, he should have stood. Elliot's gone through again, onside, Lino's flag for the wrong person again. Again, I'll have a look at that, but I'm only listening to the people you know, that are in our club that are in, in, actually in line with it. Um, and then obviously, they've gone down for two penalties. They got one, they was never getting another one, and I thought he was quite right booking the player for diving, and he should have booked the player before for diving, the one before that, in my opinion. Um, but saying that, we've dug deep, they've had a right go at us, second half, long throws coming in the box, there must have been 20 in the game, you had to defend like properly, they asked a lot of questions of you um, defensively, and I think we, we, we got it spot on, so there's a lot of chess games on the side of the pitch, and tactically we we changed things, and then you know we went all out attack to start with, very, very attacking side, um, and then as the game wore on, we changed it tactically to plug more holes and take a, a, a threat off, a little bit of the attacking threat off for a little bit more of a defensive threat. And, and then in the end, we, we sort of see the game out without Smudger having to make a save. Yeah, we said yesterday in our pre-match interview <clears throat> that this is a different type of test coming here. Just how big a win is that today? That's very big. Any, any win this time of season is big. Three points is three points. How well we don't play, we don't play football. We play, doesn't matter. It's, can you come away with three points? This is, this is a massive three points. And you know, I looked at, I told the boys before the game against Slough, Hampton, uh, Maidstone, and Haven, and Bath. Uh, we 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 lim limited them to not a lot. I don't think much has really had a save to make in the game. Um, so listen, I'll take three points all day long. Yeah, we spoke about defensively as well um, right at the end it was corner after corner after corner balls into the box constantly but did we sh did we sh did we show a different yeah, side yeah, to us today good sides all good sides soak up pressure and, and desire for each other to, to not concede they knew how big that win was it was a very very big win uh, considering with a lot of teams around us we were losing games we needed to just keep ticking off game by game so I think we showed another side um, where we didn't want to get beaten and I think people are putting their bodies on the line. Yeah, one individual we'll speak about today, Liam Nash. What did he make of his performance? Very, very good. I, I said to Nash Egan that he thoroughly deserved the start today. He, you know, his games, every time he plays, he, he makes something happen or he's, he's scoring. He scored again today, um, for, first to react. It wasn't only just that, he worked ever so hard for the team and his link-up play, I've got to say, to, on today's performance was very, very good. It's one bit that I felt that he needed to improve because uh, sometimes too many touches, but today his link play was very, very good. Yeah, of course, like you said, results going our way today. Um, now seven points inside the playoffs. Just how big a turnaround has it been? Well, it's been massive. It's been massive. I mean, that's, I think someone said it's 43 points since, out of 63 since we've come in. It's over. It's over two points a game now. You know that's that's it's a remarkable turnaround. You know, Craig, my assistant, Larry, everyone else in, in, involved in that. It's not a one-man band. It's we all play our parts. You know, and that was a tactical game today. And we were watching that game and we were looking at it. How can we shore up this? How can we stop that from happening? And how can we? And it's, we have to keep thinking. And that's what will make us better. Me as a better manager. Craig is a better coach. We have to keep stopping people's threats and can we see a game out and I think I think credit just goes to the boys today that we, we did that right. And like you said about tactically, in big moments you need big decisions don't you and, and it went away today. Yeah, I need, yeah, 
they, like I say, it went their way as well. They got a penalty. That wasn't a penalty. They may say our penalty wasn't a penalty, but all I see with our one, Elliot's about to get a shot off and he's been taken from behind. That's, you know, I'd look at that again. It may not have been, but that would be one all then really in penalty decisions if they feel there wasn't one. But for me, I'm not, that's gone. That's gone now. I think you know, I'm ever so proud of them today for a different kind of performance, but a will to win. Well done, Steve. Cheers. Well done.